Kevin Bean. K. Kevin Bean. Rock. Kevin Bean. K. Rock. It's very rare that somebody works with Ralph Garman in a professional capacity and then still keeps in touch with him How after the fact. How dare you, sir? And by very rare, you mean this is the only one. I can't believe John Huertas, who you guys did a show together, what, six or seven years ago called Joe Schmo. I can't believe you guys are still friends. And Mr. Huertas is now on Castle and joins us here in the studio yeah. on the Kevin Bean Show right now. Hey, John, how are you? Welcome, Good, sir. You? You got his microphone up there? Nope. Yep. yep. There we sure go. Don't. Sure so didn't much have it up. This thing on? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Ralph has told us many times, and we've had other people from that show who have been on who have said, for whatever reason, it connected with people, they still have guys on the street talk to them about Joe Schmo. How about for you? Has that been your experience as well? It has. I've, I've been I've been in Vegas, and people have stopped me in casinos. Like, Joe Schmo, you know, I'm, I'm on Castle. I did this show, Generation Kill, like things I'm really proud of. And then they, they and I'm proud of Wait, Joe Schmo. Wait, hold on. <laughs> so, so they bring up something you're not proud of? Well, it's, it's, it's just, it wasn't as visible as these other shows. Yeah, so they stopped, just, when they stopped yeah. me for Joe Schmo, it's like, wow, it's, it's amazing. And, and Joe Schmo was one of my favorite experiences. I mean, we got to, uh, you know, improv uh, and, 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 and make someone believe that your character was real, like in person, where usually we're doing it, you know, with the magic of television right. and, and film and stuff. But this was like, you know, this guy had to believe who we, we and Ralph. But that host was a douchebag, right? How I mean, that, he was dare the, you, that sir. That guy was the worst, right? Uh, it, it was his character. Yes. yes. <laughs> then why is he still that character? <laughs> that show has been off a long man. time. See, John, no He's love, man, it. no love. Yeah, you have no respect, <laughs> no yeah. respect, sir. No. Now, a show like Castle, I mean, that's dream television because it's a great show. It's a huge hit. It's critically acclaimed. The people that you work on are beautiful and super nice. I mean, what's better than working on Castle if you're in television, right? Oh, Castle's. Uh, it definitely is a dream job. It's um, it's it's one of those shows that I think is is a one in a million type of show we um we all have a great chemistry as a cast as a as a crew um we it's it's a collaborative experience everything about my character you know the the writers uh you know talk to me about it i talk to them about it and uh it's it's the most collaborative show that i've ever been involved with except for joe Schmidt. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of rare for a show like castle that has two leads uh, the, but the supporting characters are incorporated into the storylines. You're given a lot of stuff to do. You're given your own uh, love interest and things that move on with the show. It is kind of rare to have supporting characters fleshed out that well, I think, on network television. Yeah, it's definitely, um, you know, I have to credit uh, uh, Andrew Marlowe and, and the rest of the team for, for writing team for doing that. Um, you know, and, and I think it's it's something that we discovered in the first season, the, the, the chemistry between uh, Seamus Dever and myself, uh, like, on a personal note, is what translates to the screen. He's so different than me. We're like the odd couple, I think. And uh, you know, I think the writers just would just would watch us talk off camera and then uh, change the names. So they basically copy. Famous. So it's copyright, is what you're saying. Yeah, basically, they stole from you. Plagiarism. Yeah. That's right. Oh, it's it's ABC, not copyright. It's plagiarism. <laughs> ABC has been great to Castle in the sense that initially it wasn't a big hit, right? I mean, you guys did well, but the numbers weren't huge. Yet ABC seemed to believe enough in the show that they really kind of got behind it. Yeah, I think the first season we were definitely on the bubble um, of of getting picked up, but. Uh, I think that the, the the executives at ABC saw that we had uh, the potential to to really draw an audience in over time, and uh, they gave us they gave us a chance. Would you say that it's your performance that pushed it over the positive I've, side? I've, I've single handedly saved the show. That's what I thought course, for three seasons. All right, I'm, good for three seasons. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even on the bubble anymore, and you're still saving. He's still saving <laughs> every week. He still has to step in, and that, he's got to prop up that Philly, and that's the problem. That sure. guy's bringing the whole thing down. Dead weight, Philly. dead weight. That yeah. guy. And what about Stan Akatic, by the way? We've had Boy. her on the show a couple of times, and we Boy. are still in awe of you know spending a few minutes with her. I can't imagine showing up for work every day, and there she is. She's she's gorgeous. Um, I actually know how to pronounce her name correctly. Stan Akatic. Oh, oh. oh. Uh, she'll probably kill me for saying. We that. Her, so we've been all wrong. But her, her, I her, heard you know, it was Akatic, like static. Well, she's you know her family is from uh, uh, the, the uh, Dalmatian coast, um, which is um, that's not a place. Croatia, yeah, it's mm -hmm. like Croatia. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so they make area. those spotted dogs, and so yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. That's where the spotted dogs. That's where they make from, them. Yeah, uh, obviously. Yeah. Uh, and so you know, I I uh, I met somebody from there, and they were like, "Oh, that girl on your show, her name is Stana Katic," and I'm like, "What? Stana Katic? I don't know who you're talking about." And uh, and and I went back to her and I said, "Hey, uh, hey, cottage." <laughs> and she, her eyes went gigantic. She was like, <gasps> <laughs> "Is that a good?" How thing? did you know? Oh How wow! Because we had her in, didn't we? And we said it yes. wrong the whole time. Stana, I, must have Kattich, I think it. is the Americanized version of it. Yeah, Kattich is the Americanized version. Oh, yeah, no. yeah. You're much smoother but, but now than every time you say her name, you're going to impress her when she's I listening. won't remember. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she is beautiful and just could not be more down to earth and sort of nice and one of the guys too. It seems like. 
She's down to earth. She's super nice. Uh, I would never call Stana one of the guys. No, no obviously you know I mean? looking at her. But no, but she 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 definitely fits in well. Um, uh, as far as you know, when we're hanging out. She can she can you know just hang with the best of us, and any, anything we say, she she has something uh, in return. But even on the show, as Beckett, she really uh, there's a lot of women who play cops on television, and you go, no, no, there's no way in the hell she would actually ever be able to pull that off, but. Kate Beckett, you know, seems like she's a woman who could actually handle herself in those situations. Yeah, I mean, I think, and Stana's that way too. She, uh, <laughs> she, uh, she, you know, she tries everything. I, I mean, she archery. Bell. She, she oh. brought a, a a bow to the set, which was uh, scary. Um, <laughs> she brought a she brought a bow to the set. A bow. And, she's a and she's a, a competitive qu- archer. A quiver and, and some arrows. Well, I don't want that. No, Remember I, when Doc used to bring a gun? We didn't like that. <laughs> well, it's different. He's like, don't, insane. Don't clean your no. gun here. <laughs> There's people working. These walls are thin. All right. Actor uh, John Huertas is here. We have to take a break. The show, by the way, Cast, that we're talking about, uh, as if you don't know, airs Monday nights at 10 on ABC, which is why it's great that we're having you in today. And uh, when we return, we got a lot of stuff we need to cover with you, including the John Huertas sex tape, which is a real thing. Don't tell me it's not. Uh, we also need to, we also need to talk about your fascinating background. When Ralph told us some of the stuff that you've been through in the war zone, it kind of uh, kind of blew our minds. Kind of impressed us, to be honest. You told him about Tijuana. <laughs> I didn't mention no, Tijuana. Uh, yeah. He didn't mention Tijuana. Actually, <laughs> we're going to need to get to that as well. Actor John Huertas in studio with us here on the Kevin and Bean Show today. Of course, you know him from the show Castle. He is an NYPD homicide detective. By the way, Ralph, uh, does he work out of the same precinct as your uh, NYPD Blue uh, no. police officer? No, different precinct. Yeah, but okay. I think maybe yes. Officer Gruden, my my character from NYPD Blue, could make a guest appearance. That's all we're I'm saying. Oh, I'm there going, you go. Pitch that maybe I can today. get a transfer to, you don't have uh, to pitch that. Don't worry about <laughs> to Esposito's precinct. Hey, you know what? Don't take food off my table, Kevin. How about that? <laughs> Why doesn't he pitch Bobby? Because <laughs> Bobby's not a cop. Oh, that's right. why. Mm. <laughs> John, tell me how uh, how it happened. Were you acting and then joined the military? Or did you not get interested in acting until you got back from being in the service? Uh, I was I was acting in like theater and stuff like that before I went in the military and had a dream of being uh, in television and film. And uh, you know, I didn't have any means of going to college like you know the rich kids did. I I uh, didn't have any money. I didn't make the grades to get like a full scholarship. So I went into the military so that they would pay for uh, 75% of my college. If you're active mm-hmm. duty, they pay for 75% back then. Uh, so I went in the military. It was during the Cold War, so there was nothing going on. And I figured I had, you know, three years of college to get. I, I, I'll be done in four years easy. And then uh, it took me eight years. So I ended up being Ooh. in the military for eight years. But I studied theater while I was in the military, like, you know, in college. Um, so don't ask, don't tell times, right? Yeah, don't ask us now. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell them you're studying theater. Was that what you're saying? I'm just saying. Wow. Did you eventually? Did you graduate? Did you end up getting a degree? Yeah, I got a degree in theater. I graduated, and uh, six months later, I was out of the service and, and and came to L.A. with a with a dog and a 24 foot moving truck. You're in New York, right? Is that where you came came out of? No, I actually moved here from Louisiana. That's oh, really? The last place I was stationed here, yeah. oh. yeah, Shreveport. It's- is that a big problem for the military to have people join to get the free education and then leave? I mean, it seems like it's got to be pretty expensive for the government to pay for college and then say goodbye after such a short time. I don't think so, because a lot of people, uh, I mean, it's, it, it's pretty high turnover. I mean, you know, there are a lot of kids out there. So, you know, one one guy stays in for four years, six years, eight years, and then, you know, the, there are four kids coming in to replace him. They got eight right. years out of you. That's pretty good. Yeah, Bean, yeah. what do you want him to give it to two decades well, of his life, for God's <laughs> sakes? He's got to move on. Eight this years. Is, I mean, my How long dad, did you serve, Bean? How long did my, you serve our country? My dad was <laughs> lifetime, you know, military service. So that's why, you know, it's weird to oh, think about anyone getting sucker. out. But, <laughs> but uh, where, uh, where'd you go? What, uh, what hot spots around the world did you get to enjoy, John? Uh, I got to, uh, I mean, I got to travel pretty much all over. Um, it's called going TDY. But, uh, you know, some of the more, you know, ex- exotic places or, or dangerous places were the Middle East. I went to the Middle East. I went to uh, Panama. In uh, Central America um, for some stuff. Did you do Iraq <laughs> and Afghanistan? <laughs> stuff you can't wait, tell wait you. Wait a second. Stuff. You can't. You can't tell you about Iraq. Technical you. jargon that we wouldn't understand for yeah. some stuff. For some stuff. <laughs> you don't have uh, the clearance, Kevin. How yeah, much yeah. stuff do you have that you can't tell us? Uh, I mean, everything that you do in the in the you know if you if you're in some sort of uh, combat operation, really, you're not supposed to. To really talk about it, um, uh, tell spe- us about that. Especially, <laughs> especially, especially the stuff in Central America. But um, you know, the Middle East. You know, in, in, su- in support of uh, you know Operation Desert Storm. You know, I was there, and we, you know, we, you know, it, you guys know all about that. The sure. press was all over that. Sure. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, to right. our surprise. You know, it's funny when we were doing Schmo. Um, there was a rule amongst the cast that no one was allowed to know anything about anybody else. 
when oh, you started the, the show. The I characters, see. because everyone was supposed to be these characters, and I didn't even know John's name until after we st stopped shooting, because right? they want you to learn everybody's name of the character so you don't slip up when you're sense. all working together in yeah. front of the marks. So you don't want to give anything up, right? And you learn about your cat, you know, the other cast So we members. all knew each other at the time as the characters. And so after we we're all we all said and done, uh, Rhett and Paul, the guys who created Schmo, I was doing uh, some stuff with them afterwards and doing some voiceovers and stuff. And they said, you know, John Huertas, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's a vet. He, he, was, he served, you know. And I said, Pfft. That guy? He's such a goofball. <laughs> There's no way he ever could be in the military. They would throw his ass out in six months. <laughs> Wait, I, mean, I don't nah. see him putting up with any sort of authority whatsoever. But uh, apparently, John was able to make it work. Huh. He was quite successful. He was that. acting. All right, so uh, veteran, big-time TV star, dreamy Aladdin heartthrob, and now that's not enough for you. Now you're coming out with your own album in a couple of months here. What's up with that? You know what? I grew I doing musical theater. I did musical theater. So, I, you know, singing and acting have always gone hand in hand. And for some reason, they won't let me sing on the show. Yeah, what's, what's that about? <laughs> singing no detective, singing I thought would be interesting. Um, so I, I decided I'm going to just do it myself. And now with technology, you can build your own studio and record your own music. And as an experiment, I, I uh, went with a guy to, uh, to, to meet the songwriter at a studio. We were driving down there, and he played me a track. And I just started vibing on it based on my one of my favorite musicals Grease um, okay. I, I kind of took inspiration from Grease and uh, came up with the song we got to the studio me and the songwriter sat down recorded it in four hours and that's what we hear now in this in the song okay. Sex the World. Well, we, we got a clip of it none of us have heard this this is going to be very we're going to have to be pretty good actors if this sucks <laughs> because we're going to tell you it's good either way but Holy it's called shit. Sex <laughs> is the Word and this is from actor John Huertas from Castle let's hear some of this Sex is the Word it's the Word yeah. <laughs> wow, you really hit those oh, grease influences, man. I can yeah. barely tell. What's is, that in your pants, Ralph? Is that you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that you going sad? That's, that's, that is me going sex. Oh, man, that is, that's what you put on with your lady when the lights are low. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah. yeah. If you don't want any. What? Oh, How yeah. dare you, sir? <laughs> and the album will be called Sex Tape? That's what you're going yeah, with? Yeah, John worked as Sex Tape. You know, it's pretty clever. The reason I, I had heard that, I, I saw the video. By the way, the girl in the video, who is she? Who's that girl in that that's, video? That's uh, Alexis Cata. She's uh, a friend of mine, and uh, her and her... Uh, Boyfriend or friends of mine. Uh, she's, she's a, a she's very a talented, stunner. very talented dancer, uh, singer, actress, and so uh, you know, I didn't have any money, so I couldn't pay anybody else. So she agreed to do it for but me. But I, I see on the yeah. internet, I see uh, John wear a sex tape. Yeah, of course. Right. You go, whoa, whoa. And I said, John, it got busted. There's a sex tape got released. So immediately I go look for it. And that was the name of the video that John shot for the song. Uh, so you see what he did. There. Well, it, was my, it was my ploy. My ploy. I had a ploy. I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, instead of letting, you know, blogs and, and people like, uh, you know, uh, like TMZ and stuff, you know, gain, gain something out of my, you know, Exploit, Mis yeah. Misfortune. You yeah. made a sex tape. I made a sex tape, and I wanted to use them, so hopefully they would grab onto it and say, oh, John's got a sex tape list, and I shot a fake part of the sex tape and ended up, you know, pulling the wool over their eyes. Yeah, the beginning of the music video looks like raw footage from <laughs> a sex awesome. type. It leads awesome. right up to what you think is the act, and then the song kicks in, which really was pretty smart. genius. <laughs> pretty genius. Thing. Thank you, Ralph. All right, well, we are, uh, we're out of time, John. No. I'm glad we got a chance to have no. you with me, man. He's saying no. 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 Look, no. if he but says no, you're He's going to call it an airstrike if we don't, if we don't <laughs> do what he says. Yeah. Mm. Castle airs Monday nights at 10 on ABC, and just do the internet search for John Huerta's sex tape if you want to get uh, more of that music and hear about uh, what's coming up next for John. Thanks a lot for coming in, dude. Good to meet you. Thanks, guys. Kevin and Bean. Uno, cero, seis, siete. K-R-O-Q. Rob is here with the final look at the showbiz beat on the Kevin and Bean.